you guys. Um, and again, in the last one, guys, you have f of x equals the square root of 8 minus x. You guys are going to see these types of, this type of problem often. So we want to make sure we're comfortable with this. The first thing I notice here is the x is after the number. We usually don't talk about things, transformations, like in that format. So first thing I would do is rewrite it. Just make sure when you rewrite it, you keep the signs. The x is negative. The 8 is positive. Right? Don't rewrite it and say x minus 8. The x is negative. The 8 is positive. Okay? Um, now we recognize, uh-oh, we, we have a b and we have a c. Right? We have a transformation, and my x does not have a positive 1 in front. So therefore, I need to factor out. I need to factor out that negative or negative 1. And therefore, you guys can see I'm doing that. And then by doing that, um, we can identify there is a reflection, the y-axis, because it's a horizontal reflection. And we're shifting 8 units to the right. So this graph is reflected, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the la domain is now going to be, um, the domain is going to now be from negative infinity to 8. And the range, nothing has ever happened to the range, right, in all three of these problems. So the range never gets impacted. And there you go.